Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a to-do list in Vue.js. At first, let's create our container inside body, uh, so we can actually wrap all of our HTML elements. And then I want to have a section. Inside this section, I want to add an input of type of class input group. Uh, I'm going to input my to-dos here and also a button of class btn and btn success. Make sure your app is connected to Bootstrap to use uh, all these classes. And the text is add, okay. And uh, the next step is to actually create a variable inside our data. Make sure you also add the return. I wanna call this value uh, input to do, which is going to be actually the value uh, that, you, that user inputs inside our input field. Uh, input to do and uh, and we should also add a V model here inside our input tag, uh, which is equal to the input to do. And also we need a list. Let me uh, add a class of bootstrap like list group. Uh, this list is going to render all the to do's actually. And also a list item. The list item class is a list group item. All right, great. Uh, next step is to add a list inside our data. Let's call it to-do list. It's equal to uh, an array uh, with an element. Okay. And next step is to add a v4 to our unordered list here uh, that has a to-do in to-do list and renders the value to-do. Okay. And don't uh, forget to add this key. And uh, this key is equal to each to do dot ID. It doesn't really matter if we uh, define an ID, we should put it here. All right. And uh, as you can see, add doesn't work. So let's add an unclick method to our button. Click is equal to let's create a function like add to do add to do parenthesis and uh, then we need to implement add to do inside our methods here and add to do is a function that uh, calls this to do and apply a function called push and uh, we should pass input to do as an argument so we can actually add it to the list all right and we also need to render the to-do item inside this ally so we can see it on the screen. All right. Now, if we add a to-do, it should be added in the list. Great. All right. And next step is to refresh the input. So let's go to our add to-do and set the input to-do value to an empty string, right? I also want a delete button for each to-do. So let's add a button of class btn and btn danger. Okay, and the text would be delete. All right. And we also need an unclick method for our delete button. So let's add a click and it should be an error function. And this error function uh, should call something like delete to do. And uh, we should pass uh, the current to do to this delete to do function. So let's go and implement this method at the last step. All right, inside this, we should uh, at first find the index of this to do. So let's create a const variable like index. It should be equal to uh, this to do list uh, and index of. To index of, we should pass input to do. Okay, and if uh, the index was bigger than minus one, we can call splice in our list. So let's call our to-do list, okay, dot splice. It's right here. And pass one and index, so we can actually delete this uh, specific item. And uh, this should be to-do, not input to-do. All right, as you can see, if I add something and I delete it, it works. Okay, let's also add a condition here. So if our to-do, uh, was uh, equal to an empty string, it wouldn't show up. If to do is not equal, okay. All right, now it looks a lot better. So let's add a to do like study, add another one like record 
a video, video, add, and delete, and everything is perfect. Thanks for watching.